What have I got myself into? Are you ready, world? Let's do this. Oh, man. What have I got myself into? Yeah, so... Hello, Dalofa, and young I say all. I'm about three and a half months in to learning how to speak Korean. And I was watching a few videos like I do. And it's just like, you know, three and a half months in, I've learned a few things, you know, a few sayings and that. And then it sort of sunk in. It's just sort of like, I am so... I've got so far to go. Anywho. Oh yeah, so I'm three and a half months in and I think I'm doing pretty well. I think my pronunciation's not too bad. Well, the phone can pick it up. So that's a positive. Uh, but it's like, I'm learning how to say a whole bunch of things, but it's sort of like, I can't read. And because I like I don't have anybody to actually converse with. So I talk to the phone, but the phone doesn't answer back. I watch TV shows, but you know, it, it's like listening in on someone else's conversation. And it's like, oh, I got that word. I got that word. I got that word. This is documenting my journey into learning the Korean language. I don't, I really don't know how else to say it, it's, you know, I think, I think I'm doing pretty good for, you know, somebody who doesn't speak Korean at all, I think I know quite a bit, I know how to say a bunch of words, and that, and I can ask certain things, but then it's all like, also, you're learning stuff, and then you forget it, and, you know, it's like, you think you got down the phrase, and then you forget it the next day, and it's like, oh, what was that phrase, and things like that. Yeah, so this video might be a little jumbled. Bear with me, bear with me. I don't plan to be too long. Uh, I just, I've got so far to go. And that's just really become so evident. So this is a marathon. This isn't a sprint. So if you're thinking about learning Korean, get ready for a slow process. Um, like I think I mentioned in one of my other videos, like it's the top, it's in the top three, the top ten, depending on who you listen to, of the hardest languages to learn. The alphabet is actually really easy to learn. And so when I say I can't read, what I mean is I don't see a word and go, oh, that's that word. Oh, that's that word. I haven't really focused on that side of things, which I probably should. And I've been thinking about a bit lately. Um, I do have my flash cards. I've got a whole bunch of cards that I've printed out and laminated and that, but I don't recognize words, but I do understand the language enough where I can look at a word and I can sound it out. That helps if I know what the word is and I go, oh yeah, I can, I know that word. But I couldn't just look at it and go, Ooh, yeah, that's what it is. I actually performed a gig where I actually sang two lines properly. Um, I, I learned two lines of a song. <laughs> Uh, which was my universe, I was performing that. Um, the backing track I used had the bulk of it, and there was one part I thought, okay, that seems easy enough. I'm gonna try and learn that, get the pronunciation right, get the intonation right, and actually be able to sing along, because obviously if you've heard My Universe by Coldplay and BTS, it goes back and forwards between English and Korean. But my goal is to learn the whole song and be able to sing it from beginning to end. Um, including the Korean, but small steps, small steps. Yeah, there's just so much to the language. It, it really is, there's just so much. There's, how do you put it? It's like learning three to four languages at once. It really is, because you have your honorifics, you have your politeness, and you have your casual talking, and this other levels, you know, that seem to be there. It's sort of like, which way do you speak, depending on who you're speaking to, and all that sort of stuff. So it's really ah, mind-blowing 
And it's sort of like, am I learning the honorific system or is this just the politeness system? And is the politeness system good enough for the honorifics if, you know? And there's all these questions and that. And of course you just research and look at what you can. And also it's learning the word order. Sometimes you say the words in order, but the majority of times you jumble them up. Where it's, I think it's um, subject, object, verb. Bottom line is, is the verb's at the end. So it's not, I'm going to the shop, it's to the, the shop I'm going sort of thing. That just to give, it's similar to Polynesian languages. They do that too. So I've kind of got an understanding of that, but you know, nobody really does the direct translation, which is frustrating. I found one place that does it. Um, and he doesn't have a lot of videos on there, but I really appreciate the videos that they've got on there. When you do see the, the English words translated in that exact order, there's a couple times where it's sort of like, well, what's that trying to say? And you got to try and understand it. So there's this whole interpretation thing going on in your head where it's sort of like, okay, this word, this word, this word, the English versions in that, but how is it? And then you put it back into proper English grammar. So trying to get my brain to talk and think in the Korean format is the hard part. And there's just not a lot of videos that help you do that. Um, you know, normally it's like, here's a Korean phrase. Here's what it means in English, but it's grammatically correct, but it's not how you're actually saying it in Korean as far as word order. And I think a lot of people have that issue. So there's just so much to do. And I wish I had that ability to bounce off somebody and I'd just be, I think that would help a little. <laughs> But basically, I'm at that stage where I could say a few things, but as soon as they start talking back to me, it has to be, I don't speak, uh, uh, I only speak a little bit of Korean, I don't understand what you're saying. Which is sort of like disheartening because I'd love to be able to bounce back and forwards. Like I think I, I'd be alright with introductions, you know, like, hello, my name is Shay, nice to meet you. And they say things back and then I might be able to ask a question or two. But yeah, it's just sort of like, this last week is just sort of being re the realization of how deep of a hole I'm in. So sort of like before I start seeing where I want to be. But it's little steps. It's just, there's so much to it. And then it's sort of like, you think, how do Koreans get to understand all that? And it's like, well, they grow up with it, duh. Um, it's just like us. I'm sure that they're probably thinking the same thing when they try and learn English. And they're trying to reorder words and, and try and learn and understand things. Um, you know, the native language is really how we learn growing up and you know, our brains are just sort of absorbing it. And, that, and now we're trying to, I think it might be the preconcepts that we have, you know, like we take our, the way we speak our language into the other language and I'm trying not to. And I think I'm handling it okay. Like I said, it's sort of like, I know enough that I could say a few things to a Korean and they would understand me, I hope. And if I'm hearing a conversation, I could probably pick out certain words and things like that but I'm not I can't even do a I don't think I'm I don't think I'm at that stage of a good back and forwards at all and then it's sort of like well it'd be nice to learn how to just speak to a friend but you should really learn the honorific side of things and the more polite side of things first because if you don't know any Koreans that you can talk to, they're, they're gonna be strangers, so you're gonna have to do that. But then it's sort of like, then when that relationship becomes more friendly, 
then you got to sort of like try and work out how to break that down. So do you try and learn all, all the systems at once or it's just like, ah. <laughs> yeah, so this week has been, yeah, like I've, I've been plodding along, learning little phrases, you know, and then forgetting phrases and then relearning them and then forgetting a couple more and learning new ones. It's just like, it's just crazy. Um, but I'm determined. Yeah, it's, it really is crazy just learning a new language. And that's what this channel's about, doing things. It's like, you're not dead yet. And I know I normally end videos with that saying, but that's what this, this channel's about. Whether it was me trying to skateboard or learning in Samoan or learning Korean, pushing myself to do something different, that's what this is about. I'm not dead yet. But it's just like, wow, such a long way to go. And I wanna document little things like this. But I've been so busy, so trying to get everything, you know, make videos and all that is hard too. I'll get there. And now I'm gonna vlog my journey. I know I've just spoken English in this video, but this is about the realization of what I've gotten myself into. And it's just like, oh my God. But I've already invested three and a half months. And it's like, three and a half months, wow. I'm trying to put as much effort and time as I can into it. And I'm on my own. I have YouTube. And I have my iPhone Translate. <laughs> I'd use Google Translate, but iPhone is just easier. I've got the app and they're pretty, they're pretty close to each other. You know, they're not too bad from each other. But it's just, it's overwhelming. And it's just like, I've got so far to go. And it's just, daunting it really is daunting you know just... anyway uh, I'm, this video I'm rambling this is getting long I'm gonna have to chop it down a bit if I can but yeah so three and a half months in I'd like to be able to hold a conversation by the end of two years <laughs> I'd actually like to hold a conversation by the end of one year that's my goal. Just a basic conversation. I'd like to be able to go back and forwards and not, you know, not only say stuff, because I can say stuff, but I need to absorb it and understand stuff. Random stuff that's been thrown at me. So I'll work something out. You know, it'd be nice if there was a little bit of a Korean community around here. Um, I couldn't find one so far, but if I can, I'll try and reach out and maybe see how I go. Anyway, yeah, so three and a half months in, I'm asking myself, what have I gotten myself into? But I'm enjoying it. I'm loving it. And that can be enough for this video. If you like it, subscribe. If you want to follow me on my journey, Subscribe, notification bell, all that stuff, you know the deal. And yeah, I will be speaking Korean in the future videos. I just needed to vlog this because it's something that's been weighing on my mind the last couple of days. And just interested to know what people think. Anyway, I'm Shay and I'm gonna do this. Why? Cause I'm not dead yet. <laughs>